In this video we are going to check out and test all the features of this Olympus Infinity Stylus Epic DLX camera. This is a very famous 35mm point-and-shoot camera largely because of this Olympus 35mm f2.8 as they describe large aperture lens. And uh, this is quite a good little camera. I'm going to open it up and uh, demonstrate here I've got a roll of scrap film I'm going to put in and we will uh, put the leader over into where it says to put it in this uh, by that red line. Close it up and we hear it winding. And so now when I pull this open it should show picture number one right there. And if we point this at something and let it focus on something and we saw it did and flashed and now it should have advanced to picture number two which it has. If we select with this uh, flash control the little eye there then we're going to see some pre-flashes and there we saw that it did that that's a red eye reduction feature and then the final flash it's on picture three. If we set to no flash Now it will just focus on whatever it can focus on and take the picture without any uh, flash. If we look at this other one here we can set the timer and it's either timer or remote. Now I don't have the remote for this. I think there was a separate accessory you could get. But with the timer set, now when I push this button we see the little red light has come on here and it will begin flashing when it's getting close to going uh, to tripping the shutter. There it goes. And there it took the picture. And it's continued to advance upward here. And that's uh, okay, it automatically takes that off. Now, if we look at these other little dashes right here, that's for the date to set. Now, if we, if we push this mode button here, it starts out with a a date format of the year, then I think the month and the day, um, and you can step through different versions, February 7th, 1999, or 7th of February, 99, and then there's a clock where you can have nothing on there. What I'm going to do is just demonstrate that we can set by pushing the set button, Okay, you hold the mode button until one of the things blinks, and then we can set this up here. I just set it from even stepping up through the years. There are years in the past, and now we're up to up to 16. Let's just see how far up it goes, just to see how many more years. 29, 30, and then it goes back to 96. So the calendar works up until. Uh, 2030 which is pretty far out yet and there's the month stepping through all those and I can step up the date as well there it goes up through 31 and starts over so we can see that all those things work what I'm going to do now is just waste the rest of these pictures real quick I think this was a shorter roll so we're just going to run these out and prove that it rewinds Okay, I had just put 13 frames worth of film in this reloadable cassette. And so it's winding back. We can see it's 9, 8, 7, 6. And it will go a little past 1. It'll uh, keep running for a little while. There, I just heard the film pull free of the spool. And it is now into the cassette. And there it's a flashing E, which means we can open this up. And now all the film has wound back into here. And if we wanted to, we could process that, which we won't. The last thing I wanted to demonstrate is this is the deluxe version of this camera that has the panoramic setting. And if you see here, these two bars here, when it's set for panorama, 
those block off part of that making a very wide format frame. When I flip it out then you have the full 35 millimeter film frame. So panorama normal. So all that's working just fine. The back closes nicely. Uh, we can look in here. There will not be a battery in this camera that's just for testing purposes. Nice and clean battery compartment and the latch works well on the battery door. These are sometimes susceptible to breakage but this one is good. And the strap is nice and in good condition. So quite a nice example of the Olympus Infinity Stylus Epic the DLX version.